Okay, Coach, tonight you guys came up just a little bit short of Norfolk State. Just from a coach perspective and from a player perspective, where do you think things went wrong tonight? Uh, we The game was too slow for us. Um, I also think we struggled with that zone a little bit. In the second half, we kind of started to pick it apart, but we got to be disciplined and, and, and listen. That's my thing for today is we got to listen to what we're asking each other to do and get that done. But I just felt like tonight they, they controlled the backboard, and we knew starting the game, if we didn't rebound, we didn't have a chance. And if you see on the stat sheet, they had 53 total rebounds, so I have 37. They had 21 offensive. And if you look at second chance points, they had 26 second, second chance points. We lose by 21. We control the backboard and, and play a little better defense, stop fouling, we all right. But if you're saying I'm 21 points from the best team in the league and got to see them a few more times, I'm, I'm happy with that for today. Kyla, what, what were your thing, perspective on that? You know, we heard that the offensive rebounding for them was an issue with taking chance points. What are some things you guys can try to do to control that? I think really just come with more energy. All of that is really hustle and heart for real. So I don't think we played this game with more hustle and heart. So we just got to come with more energy. Because we saw a little bit of an extended lineup today. A few, a few extra ladies were able to help out tonight. How did you think the overall team was able to rotate? And what did you think the season was? Um, uh, we're still not there because uh, we got uh, Anaya Finger back today, but she hasn't been practicing, so she's not really in the shape that we need her to be in. Uh, we're really, really missing uh, JT. We call it Jada Tiggett, and we're mi really missing Big Nodge. Those are the two who's in the rotation all year long, and we've been missing them the last three three games, and it's really hurt us as far as our pressing and our trapping and what we want to do. Yes, we got a couple bodies back, but those are two bodies that we got back that hadn't, hadn't really played this year. So it's not like we got Jada Tiggett back and we got Big Nodger back, who's we're implementing right back into our rotation. We're implementing new people into our rotation, even though now your finger – Played 12 minutes, she had 11 and 5, but you still can see the sluggish of her. She, she's not in shape like we are. But hopefully over the next, we don't have another game until the 16th, and hopefully we can start getting some of these people in shape and healthy. Yes, and looking forward to that for the 16th. What are some things you guys have a few days off? What are some things you guys need to work on? Oh, number one, get healthy. Yeah. That's been our thing all year. We just got to get healthy. And I felt like we was a little tired tonight. Even though we didn't do much in practice yesterday, I can see it in our, in our, in our ladies that I, we didn't have the legs that we had on Saturday. And uh, and I told them tonight, if we're going to win a championship in this league, it is playing back-to-back, -back, but hopefully by then, by the time we get to March, we got 12, 11 bodies that we can throw at you. And Kyla, another great night for you offensively. A few of your other guard teammates have struggled recently. Just what are some things you, you can do there? You know, I saw a few miscommunication plays where you guys can get on the same page and we can get back to the winning basketball that you guys can play. Just uplifting my teammates and giving them more confidence to – take the shot, actually. So just bringing more energy to the team and actually giving my teammates confidence could help them on that side. Okay, thank you and good luck for you guys on the 16th. Eagle Pride, we'll be back. Thank you.